Okay, coming back into the uh, dining room is, I guess, what I would call this. So this is not a big room. Again, camera lens can't really show it. Mostly storage on all that stuff over there. Um, okay, so this is the original shiplap exterior of the house. This, the other side of this, the other inch on the side of it, was exposed to the elements. Um, originally, there was probably no insulation. Um, they did later put in some insulation, but they didn't put in much, as you can see. Um, later homeowners have come back in and put in more stuff, but if it's not gonna, that's too dark, yeah. But there's a lot of it that there's nothing. And of course, this entire wall, there was no insulation. Now, on this wall, this is an original beam, um, or at least mostly original. I know that because of the painting, because this is painted the same purple as the wall. But then you'll find other boards, which are not. Obviously, that's a newer one. And if you come over to this one, which I will try to show here, you can actually see where this was where the wall was. This was interior room painted purple, the same as that. This was interior room green, same as that. So not really sure what the original place looked like. I've been trying to figure that out. There's a lot of wood, as you see, the newer stuff that's been put in that doesn't really seem to make much sense. Like this board right here is just kind of nailed in there, but there's not actually anything attached to it. That wire that goes through is drilled through that board. So, yeah, I don't know why that's there. And like this board here, see, it's not attached to the top. There's a little hole for that wire to go through. And <laughs> then it ends right there. So, like that whole board kind of doesn't serve a purpose. Speaking of boards that don't serve a purpose, like this little one right here. Don't know what that's for, but we'll get to that and the chimney in a second. Uh, so, okay, actually, let's do this over here. Right here, where this top one by one is, when I bought it, there was an office style drop ceiling right there. When I pulled that down, I then had this wonderful drywall, and then all of these rafters that you see around, let me try to cover that up, there, all of those, uh, that was ha hung drywall horizontally, so parallel with the ground, up, and that was the ceiling. So I pulled all that out, or as much as I could, and then exposed the wood panel ceiling, which is up there, which um, was not original, but put in later, I don't know exactly when, uh, but if we can zoom in here, behind that, you can actually see, I can't see, get my finger in frame right there, that's the old knob and tube wiring that's in the house, which I don't think is still active, I hope is not still active. There's then all this other, let's block out that, all that other wiring that you see there is afterwards retrofitting. The wiring is really bad, which is why my friend and I built the sub panel, which then drives all these extension cords, which then go upstairs to run the entire second floor, which is my bedroom and office, because I don't want to use the original wiring in the house because it's really bad. And as an example of how bad it is, that is why I don't want to use it. So electricity does not like to flow. Well, actually I should say electricity really likes to flow because it really flowed through that really well before it decided it didn't want to flow anymore. So yeah, original wiring, let's, let's not thank you. Um, oh yeah, so typewriter. Also vacuum tubes, because vacuum tubes are cool, but I don't have any use for them right now. But okay, so this is an Underwood typewriter. Um, I've dated it by serial to May of 1923, if my, memory is, if my memory is serving correctly, for when this was made. Um, so this came with the house. I didn't know it. Actually, I didn't know it up until a couple days ago when I was trying to track down some potential moisture. And I went up into there, specifically, right, come on, focus right there to look at above the ceiling in the kitchen and that's where that was so somebody was hiding a typewriter up there no idea why but yeah so if you come over here you can see up there 
there's at the side there's only a couple feet but in the center there's about a good four or five feet so there's a lot of room up there and I guess that was where one of the prior owners decided they wanted to stash a uh, a typewriter because I guess that's what you do is you hide typewriters in your ceiling in your attic so yeah um, let's see is there anything else here okay so there is a window back there that is not original just like there is a window there that is not original uh, they were put in after as you can see with the construction both of them are broken so they have to be replaced and this one funny enough isn't even the right size for the opening like they, they built the opening and then bought a larger window and then put the larger window in and went oh well this means the window can't close which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you but like that had to be done to stop airflow because this window will not slide all the way open and lock with this one because they're the wrong size and obviously because of the way a window frame and a window works the frame sticks out further than the glass so if they don't line up right they don't line up right and actually cover then you don't have a seal so I had to make a seal so yeah quality quality craftsmanship in this house um, let me see if I can actually show you some more of the quality so it doesn't really show that well on the camera, but this window sill that goes across is actually level. And you can see the heater, where's my finger with the lens? The heater right here is level with the floor. And if you look at the space here to the window sill and here to the window sill, you can see that the entire floor actually goes down because because it's old. Um, another example of old construction not being straight is this doorway. The white that goes around is actually square. But if you come and look at this beam, you see that down here it's really close and as you go up it gets wider and wider and wider and wider and wider. Up till the point where you're two, almost three finger widths wide apart. Um, obviously, construction tolerances were not as good in the late 1800s as they are today, um, which is fine. I wanted an old house, but, oh, yeah, speaking of it, this, I obviously don't believe this was original, but it might be, actually, um, considering the quality of it, um, and I don't think that's something that was put in later. Uh, but, again, who knows, because this house has had so many different construction layers. Uh, so I believe this was originally where a wood furnace went, and that was the opening where the pipe would go in and then up the chimney, because that is obviously rework, and it's not like any of the rest of it. But it got walled up and covered over, because obviously, and that had to be, I'm assuming, before this wood side paneling was put in to separate the rooms. Um, because, if we pull back, and keep pulling back this entire wall from ground all the way up to ceiling actually is not structural it was a wall that was put in after because these beams these uh the wood ceiling panels go completely under and extend under this wall so this wall was put in after the ceiling was put in and i know the ceiling wasn't original so by logic that wall was not original um they then at some point retrofitted the closet that's behind the bear um, and then this was a complete wall which they then cut out to then add the walkway through uh, it's kinda hard to figure out what is what or what was what in the house however I don't know if I can see it this is the purple that we know this side of the room is and if this side if we can find a spot, yep, yeah, right there, is green. So this side of the house was definitely two rooms. Um, what caused them to decide to put up a wall, a fake wall or a partial wall? There probably was a doorway here at some point, but then there had to be an original wall of something at some point for there to be a doorway. Um, or the other possibility is that all of the wood that is used here 
has actually been scavenged from another part of the house, which is very likely.